I've had a question recently about how I thread my Pearson stitcher, so I'm going to show you today how I do that. The thread starts at the th at the spool support, and the, th the spool just sits loosely on top of that. Goes up through a wire thread guide. Again, another thread guide, and then the thread wends its way up to this uh, pressure plate and I'm going to show that in more detail in a minute but moving on just to give you a general overview the thread next goes through this uh, oil reservoir and the insides of my oil reservoir are no longer original there's a small piece here that strips the oil off the uh, off the thread as it passes out of the reservoir um, and I do do twist that in to tighten it up and then back it off very slightly so it's got uh, a little bit of tension on it. Once the thread passes out of the reservoir, there are two pieces here that both move when you take a stitch. The first one is a small hook with the opening of the hook facing downward, a lot like a person's cane. And then this next one is a hook that faces up um, and the thread needs to go through both of these in order for it to have the proper tension. Continuing on, this is a staple. It looks like an upside down U. The primary uh, controls of the, the thread tension. There's just a simple pulley here. Thread goes up and over that. Um, another thread guide. And then the thread goes through the needle.